Hello, and welcome to the Thoughtful Realtor Podcast. I'm Connie Chung. I'm Cliff Sang. And I am Kenny Gong, and we are the founders and partners of Wilmer Real Estate. This is a real estate podcast where we get real personal. Every episode, we sit down for insights, stories, and conversations about all things real estate, running a real estate team here in California, and how we find our way as leaders and business partners. And today, we're talking about something that we have been brainstorming and dreaming Mm. up of for some time, which Mm. is to open up a cafe. (laughs) Oh, so exciting. This is a fun one as our listeners will get to hear our insights and get into our thought processes as business owners, creatives, and entrepreneurs. Let's dive in. So let's start with the first question I'm sure on everyone's mind. Why a cafe? Why a cafe? Connie, do you want to start us off? So many questions. One, aside from just personally loving cafes, a big... (laughs) Do you need more reasons? Uh, Yeah, what else? (laughs) You know, we're fueled by coffee. I think a huge reason is so much of what we do and is rooted in our work is making things accessible. And what I love about cafes Mm. and coffee is that it's the smallest price point for a luxury item, which makes it so accessible. And it allows people to really engage in something indulgent. At least that's how I see buying a cup of coffee. It's not cheap, that's for sure these days. But it is a really nice indulgence that... I like to treat myself to, you know, once a week because that that definitely can add up. But even more than that is I have my go-to neighborhood coffee shop and there's something so special about seeing some of the same people who work there, some of the same people who frequent the coffee shop and it's just kind of the foundation to a neighborhood. And as realtors, as business owners, our role is really building communities and serving as stewards to our neighbors, to folks within the community. Yeah. You know, and also I feel like we should have said this in the beginning, but this is very much in the beginning stages. I think we need to just preface (laughs) this, which we didn't, which we did in the intro, but there's no lease signed. There's no lease signed. This is truly us as founders and partners dreaming and envisioning and brainstorming. I think that's important to say because we wanted to let folks in on something that we're just in the beginning processes of. And I, and I think that that's an exciting place to be an exciting venture to bring people into. And, and to just put it out there too. To put oh, it out there. Exactly. And then we got to really commit. <laughs> we got to commit. And yeah, I think that there's so much power in putting things out into the universe and seeing how things unfold. Yeah. And this is something that we're just bringing people in on. So Kenny, um, why a cafe for you? So for me, I think that cafes are some of my favorite places mm-hmm. in the world. Mm-hmm. Whenever I go to a new country, whenever I go to a new city, when I'm traveling, it is oftentimes the very first place that I will seek out. And the reason why I seek it out, one, is because it speaks to place, it speaks to people, it speaks to a neighborhood. It says so much about a community. Mm-hmm. And it says so much about who is in the community. It says so much about what the community values in many ways. And that there's so much of a spectrum of you know the cafe culture. It can look so different depending on the place and the people. And that's what I love. You know, Connie had referenced this before. It it is a place to gather, Mm -hmm. right? And it is a place where people gather. And I love the idea of being able to provide that for the places, for the communities and the neighborhoods that we serve as real estate professionals, to be able to create a place where people can gather, where community can gather, where clients can gather. It's a way for us to show up. Mm. It's a way for us to invest in the communities that we serve Mm. and to not just be real estate agents practicing in a market, but to be builders of neighborhoods Mm -hmm. and to create a place where people can gather is us directly expressing the value that we bring as real estate professionals, which is building neighborhoods Mm -hmm. and serving communities. Yeah, I I love that. Yeah, I think 
for me, I'm not as into cafe culture, but I'm learning a lot about it because <laughs> Misan really, really loves cafe culture. Yeah. But what you said that resonates with me, Kenny, because I think a cafe, I think oftentimes people find it almost like their home away from home. Mm-hmm. It's their mm-hmm. place for they can rest and recharge. Even on Misan's days off, she might go to a cafe. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. it's also the same place when she has to do work, she'll go to as right. well. So I think it can be a very universal experience for people. And I think, yeah, why do we need to define Willamar in this box of buying and selling real Ooh, estate only, yeah. right? It's another way of through real estate, yeah. building our communities and yeah. empowering people and all of that stuff that really is so true to our company's ethos and culture yeah. through another avenue. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it'll be a really, really fun journey. Yeah. Nothing says so service too. more than handing someone a warm cup of coffee oh. and seeing a smile on their face. <laughs> you know what I just thought about? It is oftentimes the very first place that people go in their day Mm -hmm. because it gives them energy. It gives them community. It sets the tone. It sets the tone. I just thought It's like a foundational piece of your day. Yeah. Yeah. And to be able to provide that in a way that also is an extension of how we as Willamar real estate think about service. That is really exciting. You know, what do you think of that? That, Does that that resonate? That is great. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. So what could a Willamar Cafe look like on opening day? Dreaming big and knowing this is very much a brainstorm and with nothing set in stone. Connie, start us off. (laughs) Well, as Kenny shared, I, at least Kenny and I are really big and me son, Cliff's wife, we're big on cafe culture. So I have so many favorite cafes and in this process have certainly been pulling favorite uh, kind of features of each cafe that I love in particular. But in thinking through what would Willemar's cafe look like, because I I have so many styles that I like and aesthetics and feelings, but overall I would love it to feel spacious and welcoming Mm -hmm. in a very refined luxurious way in the sense that people will want to gravitate towards it but very accessible where they'll feel comfortable in the space Mm -hmm. and like they belong because i think what are some cafes around the world that come to mind well the mill in san francisco is one Mm. of my favorites it's bright airy the smell of bread, coffee, yeah. and all the pastries. And it's rooted in the Nopa neighborhood of San Francisco mm-hmm. where it's on Divisadero. There's a, sometimes a line out the door and you see familiar faces. And that's one of my favorite cafes. Mm-hmm. I love Two Kids Coffee in South Pasadena because the staff, they are probably what brings oh, me back. Yeah, They are the so friendly of service. And it's minimal in the sense that they're not trying to show off anything, but provide Mm. a really beautiful luxury good being coffee (laughs) but the craft of how they deliver it is just oh my gosh it feels so well taken care of totally yeah they make eye contact with you and they are using their two hands to pass off the coffee with the lid on its napkin it's it's the experience they they fold the napkin in front of you <laughs> are are these the owners serving you or is it employees? No, um, staff, I have, staff. They have staff mm-hmm. who are all so great. It's so consistent. And talk about service, they really mm-hmm. nail down the service and the experience of what I aspire mm-hmm. our Willamar Cafe to yeah. be like. You know what I just thought about too is because it's also tied to what you had mentioned, which is an accessible luxury, right? Like coffee being, you know, you have to pay a lot for something, but relatively it's not too expensive for many people it is the most consistent luxury service experience right i experience it (laughs) a few times a week and that's probably not (laughs) as much as many other people but i think that is also part of this delivering that service Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i always aspire to be a regular at a coffee shop oh where they know my name and order yeah (laughs) for someone who's learning more about cafe cafe culture and i'm sure it's varied opinions but i'm curious what your thoughts are on the quality of coffee. Like in your experience, how important is that usually? Obviously it needs to be a pretty good cup, but it's gotta be the top, top for you to have a good experience there. Or is it more the vibe, the energy there that's more important to you? How would you think about that? Yeah. The drinks can all vary and sometimes, yeah, some drinks will be better than others at a 
cafe but for me it really is the vibe and the experience mm-hmm. that keeps me returning because i i do love trying new coffee shops and cafes yeah. and experiencing that and ordering something new but what gets me going back is definitely the vibe yeah the experience mm-hmm. yeah because i actually don't know enough about coffee to have a discerning palate <laughs> but i can certainly have a discerning palate <laughs> when it comes to experience <laughs> <laughs> And actually, yeah. yeah, there's places yeah. that I will go to just because of the ambiance and the, and the experience. Do you have some favorites you'd like to share? Oh, my gosh, so many. Well, my go-to is in Berkeley. Shout out to Cafe Reveille. Bright space, mm-hmm. huge windows, food, mm-hmm. not just drink, really yeah. good food. And that's an inspiration that I have for mm-hmm. what Willamore could look like, just this beautiful space that people feel inspired by. Yeah. I'm inspired Ooh, to yeah. go there just because I want to be in a place that gives my head mm-hmm. enough freedom and space, mm-hmm. right? If you are in a space that is bright and open, it allows your mind to also be bright and open. Mm-hmm. So that's what I aspire for Ooh. Willamore. That's such a great way to put it too, because yes, yeah, so many people go to cafes to work and to create and to think of a space that you get to be that place for all sorts of creation to come out of or conversations or relationships. It's mm-hmm. a really cool real estate to hold yeah, <laughs> in that yeah. way. So Cliff though, now that you're hearing some of these things, what comes to mind when you think about what could the opening day of the Wilmer Cafe look like? Ooh, I, the thoughts that come to mind for me, we well, we've talked about location yeah. it being in San Marino and I grew up in that area. So I kind of know it well enough, but off of Huntington or one of those air, I, I, I think we've talked a little bit. It's not going to necessarily have to be a really big spot in terms of square mm-hmm. footage. Yeah. I think it's just more of the vibe that we're going for. Um, and I just see it, yeah, very light, bright, lots of natural light coming through. Yeah. Something also, too, about the, I'm, I'm imagining the smell. Ooh, it's like yeah, yeah. on that block, there's no other cafe. So the door is open and a coffee smell is permeating and it's drawing some people in. Um, Are there places that you and Misun have gone to? And maybe also not just in the U.S., but in other countries ooh. that have... Actually, yeah, when we traveled in Japan, I feel like coffee mm. culture is really, really fun in yeah. Japan. And the, the, the craft of coffee yeah, really comes yeah. out there, just how focused they are when they make your cup of coffee. Yeah. And then in Berkeley, we like Hidden Cafe. Mm-hmm. Oh. As you two were describing your cafe experiences, that resonated. Yeah. I was like, Hidden Cafe is very interesting because there's just one table there in the middle. Yeah. And it's crammed. There's like eight yeah. seats and people are just smushed in there, but they will stay there for a oh. long time. <laughs> <laughs> and they have a good strawberry milk. Oh, oh, so that's what I always get. That's also really interesting. When I think about what are the things that a Willamar Cafe could offer mm-hmm. drink wise and food wise that mm-hmm. is different because yeah. I don't know any other place that has a strawberry milk except maybe some boba shops, yeah. but a cafe that has strawberry milk mm-hmm. is that's pretty rare. Oh, that's a good that's signature a good drink. Oh yeah. yeah. Signature drink menu yeah. items. I think it'd be cool for us to just kind of dream a little bit too. We've kind of laid the foundation of what it would look like at launch. But Mm -hmm. what are your thoughts in terms of what this cafe could look like in 10 years? Mm -hmm. Mm. What does this look like? And and this is just us dreaming, putting it out there. Yeah. Following into the lines of it being a foundation for the community, a gathering place, I could foresee it, especially if it's this big, bright, airy space, really being an event space where we host community events, guest speakers, even client dinners or different types of Willamar events where we do food tasting, wine tasting, all sorts of things that just Mm. bring people in and create that sense of community that is so craved today. Mm. I love that. That's cool. A vision of a different space came into mind. Because at first, oh, I, had yeah, a, I know, oh, totally. I had a small yeah, yeah. cafe I mean, in mind. No, no, yeah. this is so good because that's maybe the original location, right? And yeah. other oh, spots, yeah, it was like a true. bigger. The, I mean, I keep thinking about the mill, but it's a mm-hmm. much bigger spot. Yeah, we together. could acquire the neighboring spot. We could oh, upgrade yeah. to a bigger location. So much can happen in yeah. ten years. There could be a few outposts. Who knows? 
Cliff, what, what else comes to mind? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking that there'd be a few. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In my head, oh. the, the vision was pretty much any place that we have will transact real estate. Yeah. We'd also have mm-hmm. some sort of Willamar Cafe as a hub, not only mm-hmm. for the community, but also for all the stuff that you spoke yeah. about. Community to bring our folks together, too, and have workspace for all of that. I, you I think shared it's just the idea before that I love where our clients get to come in and get a free cup of coffee. I oh, think that yeah. is so, nothing like, oh, I'm part of the Willowmore family. I'm here to redeem my free cup of coffee. <laughs> One free cup per week. I have always loved having a space big enough to host client mm-hmm. events. I think it'd be amazing to be able to say as a closing gift, instead of hosting your house ring party, in your new home where it might not be furnished and you might be a little bit, you might not want all of your friends to come in, come have it at the Willamar Cafe. Mm-hmm. We'll cater it and and bring your friends together to celebrate this amazing, wonderful milestone for you. Mm-hmm. I think that could be really, really yeah. cool. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And you know, it, part of that client experience too, and also how a lot of coffee shops have their store or their swag, oh, because yeah. we gift our clients so many different types of home good products that we love and have yeah. vetted, even to have our cafe include our Willamore yeah. store that yeah. not just our clients get these goods, but our daily coffee customers or cafe customers actually get to partake yeah. and purchase some of these items that we love and that's really um, cool are big advocates of especially because so yeah. many of the goods that we source for our clients are made from local folks yeah. and com- mom and pop shops and local makers that to continue furthering other businesses is so core to how we run our business mm-hmm. i can see an award-winning coffee company <gasps> roasting our own beans you know i've really been interested in the development of chamberlain coffee do you all know chamberlain no is that a brand it is so emma chamberlain is a a youtuber incredibly popular youtuber she's probably in her early 20s and now she has her own coffee company called chamberlain coffee it's at target it's at walmart i think so these pretty big brands but i think that what's been exciting to see is how people have turned their passions into Mm. being able to create these consumer product brands that have a really big impact and i love that i mean that could be really cool to just say like this is an extension of what we do right we have cafes of course you need coffee for your cafes Mm -hmm. or maybe it's a tea company maybe it's a tea company i don't know i think that there's just really cool things that could spin off from having a oh cafe. totally when you said roast your own beans i already had the names and flavors oh, and what came to i don't mind? know something about like hazy Ooh, foggy yeah. morning foggy Ooh. morning foggy morning blend mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. i had assumed that the coffee roasting was already part of this oh, wow. but that's for a oh, new new yeah. coffee person or cafe person i didn't yeah. realize that makes sense newer cafe i don't think you roast your beans yet but further down yeah. the road mm-hmm. you have that yeah. option too. it depends on i feel like there's a spectrum of what people do but that would be really cool yeah in 10 years i just love the idea of having a stakeholder in these communities where our cafe our cafes are located and yeah. really knowing the people in the community being that destination point for someone to start their day at or even end their day where they get together with people new friends old yeah. friends i just had another idea Ooh, share okay i've always loved the idea of uh, spaces that are cafes in the daytime and then mm. like lounges wine at night. bar oh. wine bar or something that provides that ambiance mm. but at nighttime mm-hmm. yeah are there places like that yeah mm. oh. not, not locally <laughs> not that yet. we know of not yet but certainly around the world oh there. oh interesting yeah 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 but, yeah, yeah. Taking inspirations from mm-hmm. around the world. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. It's not used at night. So it's not used at yeah. night. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, oh. I, that's so fun to brainstorm. We got some new ideas out of this episode. And so we're curious to hear from you. What do you love about cafes to our listeners? And if you have a favorite one. And do you have any tips or want to be part of the Willamar Cafe? Let us know. You can find us at willamar.com or Instagram at willamar underscore underscore and reach out to us directly yes and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and leave us a review we read each one of your reviews and always 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 appreciate when you share the love and so 
Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.